Cheers and welcome my friends, I'm Honotrak and we are playing Europa Universalis 4 on hard difficulty and lucky nations such as historical as Venice. Welcome back. We are in a bit of a tricky situation here because we cannot pull anyone into a war against the Ottomans, at least uh, that I have seen in a while. Um, I'm trying to make friends with Kalman here. Might maybe be an opportunity here to go for an alliance or something. And Trebizond has made separate peace here. Okay, that's fine. Um, now declaring war on these dudes. Uh, let's see how that goes. So take off Eden. None of these really want to go in there. Promised Ottoman land. Does not owe them 10 favors. Why does Poland like the Ottomans? It makes no sense. Makes no sense. Does not owe me any favors. Distant war in debt and diplomatic reputation. This is really not good. This is really not good. I have to kind of facilitate a defensive war against them. I mean, I can send them an insult. What's a scornful insult? We'll double the loss of opinion, but also make the enemies like us more. Costs five prestige. Um, uh, scorn for an insult. Your blood will make the soil I take from you all the richer. <laughs> May your sky be filled with comets. <laughs> That's a completely new feature. Furthermore, I believe that Idern must be destroyed. Saturn Sensio. In this great game we play, you're a mere pawn. Murat II's head is as empty as a eunuch's underpants. I feel like this is a good insult for them. Uh, yeah, we spent five prestige to really piss them off. Hey, you you stink. Your head is empty. However, they have somehow interpreted this as an insult. We are amused at their lack of culture, but they appear to be quite upset. We sent a highly cultured letter to them. <laughs> Uh, they already hate us, but I'm really decided to share knowledge with Florence. Okay, sure. Spain, how about how about we go about this whole knowledge sharing thing? It's still not up to it, eh? Yeah, Venetian diplomatic reputation. They would go for it if only my my diplo rep were better. Uh, we can't really shake that until 68. Maybe I should have kept them. Some tiny vassals. Maybe they're not that bad. Ah, uh, man. Guilt before country. When aristocrats warned us of the secret societies that had supposedly infiltrated Venetian politics, we chose not to listen. They predicted that we might very well pay with our lives when this conspiracy turned against us. Nothing quite so dramatic has happened, but one of our close advisors has made some very dubious decisions lately and eventually admitted these were the services to a secret society that the advisor was indeed part of. Other politicians are up in arms about this, and there's no avoiding a scandal at this stage. Holy hell. Okay, well, I guess our state statesman is gonna die. Let's see if uh, the alliance with Austria breaks. Didn't have that problem before. Doesn't look like it, so at least we can get some money together. Let's go up to speed four, maybe even speed five. There's not too much happening right now, and I really just want to bide my time. Okay, we're done improving with them. Now I could take a, a claim on Zeta over here, get the gold mine. This is this is not a bad spot to hold, especially against the Ottomans. If they did get the gold mine. My life isn't quite so nice. Let's just have a look at trade goods. So we have gold over here. They don't have access to another gold mine. Uh, there are not that many in Europe. Like we have one here. We have one in Tyrol. Um, we have one in Cheb. And then the Spanish have one. So we should probably make sure that we get this one. It's going to create some inflation. But I mean, screw that, right? So Serbia. We want some claims on you. They would still be willing to go for an alliance, but I can't vassalize them right now. 
There's no possible neighboring provinces to fabricate a claim. What neighboring province? Like, we do have a sea zone. We share a sea zone. That is always something that you can do. What the heck? Hmm. Own, control, or co at least five provinces with level two or higher centers of trade. We should probably be able to do that at some point. Venetian trade. Ship trade power plus 50%. We need more splendor. Yeah, we definitely need more splendor. Humiliate arrival. We have the Renaissance. Keep it in every province you own. Uh, we need that. City with at least 30 development. We're not quite there. Core province with 30 development. We're 29 of 32. What? Uh, I could spend this on Venetia. We already have this, which um, reduces the developments, but there is an event that allows you to... Yeah. Hmm. I think we can do this. Mission fulfilled. Oh, we fulfilled Expand Venice. Oh, we gain more base tax. Really? Damn it. Growth of capital. Okay, sure. So, yeah, I guess we got something out of it. This should boost our income. Yeah, almost to 10. And now we should also get the splendor from this. 35 of 32. Core province with 30 development. So, splendor gain. We fulfilled two objectives. I didn't want the Renaissance in all my in all my things, but I guess I can't do that. We should humiliate a rival. So yeah, uh, damn it. So I I don't get that. It has no possible provinces to fabricate a claim from. So I guess I would have to go for this or these guys. Albania will be kicked from the trade league. I think I should do that. I think I want to go for Albania if I can. Does that provide a truce? It doesn't. It does not seem to mm, produce a truce. So I think we'll just take it because we already have a core on it. Um, I'm going to unmothball this fleet. And uh, we'll have this army move to Durazzo. So they've been kicked. I'm sorry, Scanderbag. Let's give our ruler command. Bruno Pisani is not the most amazing leader here. Uh, oh, come on. You allied with Hungary and the Knights. For real. For real. Um, how strong is Hungary? How strong is Hungary here? Um, armies... Hungary has 21,000 men. What's your military tech? Four. If we get up to five before them, we could do this, I think. Especially if I manage to roll like a good general. And I can maybe get an advisor to do something. Yeah, the fleet maintenance is pretty nasty. I could take this guy. Oh, we just... Ah, right. Hmm. Yes. We'll use the Serenissima to bring these guys d uh, down here. New research, new re new trade research is heretical. Sure, what, whatever you say, man. France cancelled military access. If we can humiliate um, these guys, that will probably be fine. Ah, <sighs> 
Hungary is gonna join, the Knights is gonna join. And tell you what, screw the Knights and their self-righteous crap. We will, we could just attack the Knights actually. Let's build a spy network and we'll go after the Knights. Pull in Albania that way. I have a core on this. Okay, let's repay that bank loan. Repaying each loan is hugely helpful. Okay, right, so we'll go men at arms. Ottoman started to influence Hiffen, Hiss and Kafir, which I think is this one in here. Eh, yeah, just need one. Okay, we're gonna let the lottery decide, I think. Three, two, five, two, zero, three, two, six. Five, two, zero is what we have now. The guilds have gained dominant position. I don't like that. I'm gonna boost the traders here. Ah, come on, be good. Ah, it's just as bad as the previous dude. Just as bad as the previous guy. Hmm. Uh, I think what, I'll, what I'm gonna do is I will... Sorry. I will add one guy to improve with neighboring countries. Yeah, we might not want to improve with Albania. They're not gonna exist all that long. Okay, we have the first Imperial Reform. That is impressive, actually. Outraged countries? Who's outraged? The Knights? Stop being outraged. I guess threatening countries is what we need. Maybe I just don't want to automate it. Maybe that's not worth it. Because we'll just do it manually, so let's improve with Mantua. Ah, Outrage is just people that we have aggressive expansion with. That's why we're improving with the Knights. That's fine, though. So we're repairing our ships. At least we're fully positive again. Okay, do you know I made peace with Trabzond? Shadow Kingdom event still hasn't really happened. Us being able to take roads is actually good. Um, I want roads. Like, it, it belongs to the Aegean Archipelago. We already have that as a state. How many, how many places do we have? We have nine states and zero territories. Yeah, we can still go for quite a bit. Quite a few. And losing Republican tradition is... What? Ottomans declared on Hungary. Shit. Okay, so we come back. Do we? What do we do here? What do we do? I'm sure this is an opportunity in one form or another. Now, do we want to declare on the Ottomans? We still have no one who's going to join this. We could do it on our own if we wanted to. I mean, Austria. If we had enough favors, Austria would come in at this point. How many favors do we have, though? Seven. We're not really fast at gaining favors here with them. Castile, we have nine favors actually. So, pulling in Castile might not be too far away. So, hmm, Venetian diplomatic reputation and their manpower is a little bit against us. Poland, your faithful allies, requesting that you come to the aid in the Polish conquest of Zemplin against Hungary. 
Hope you set up with Albania, Bosnia, Teutonic Order, and Florence. And I'd say I'd love to. If we accept the promise of territorial gains from this war. Yeah, you know what would please me? Albania, my buddy. And also Lika. So we'll, we'll take Albania here. Um, we'll, we'll also take out the Hungarian fleet. Because they're a joke. Okay, so we'll siege this down. This will also stop the Ottomans from getting that. Which is kind of nice. And that the Florentine fleet is actually a bit of a problem. Okay, I guess we're gonna stop protecting trade for now. Just chill out in Crete for now. Um, attach a siege. We'll just wait right next to it. Bosnia is on their side. We'll just siege this down and then we'll we'll see what happens. Maybe I don't care all that much about roads anymore. I mean it's not it's not really very urgent. So maybe stop building the spy network. I mean, having all these islands to myself is probably what I want. But And Poland will owe me favors if I if I do this. So, I should probably try to get something done in this war. Well, let's just start sieging down Bosnia here. Oh yeah, right, Florence is also coming after me. Okay, now we gotta we gotta use our ships to move forward here. There's nothing else that we can do. Uh, listen. Um, everyone here. We're gonna leave our leader in this army, which is fine. And then we need another general, which I don't have. Okay, maybe things are not fine. I don't have a general to do things. Oh, Poland was quick to pounce on Hungary. It's interesting. They don't have a general on this either. Just need to make sure that I'm in charge of that siege. Okay, so we'll, we'll kick uh, Florence in the nuts here, I hope. Hope we can do that. Why are you not, why are you not going through Austria? Battle of Treviso, we've won it. I um, think, think I'm gonna just chase him down here. If we at all can. I don't see this going well for them. Uh, how's my war participation? 60%. Okay. I tell you what, we're gonna tell Byzantium to attach to this. Why don't you have any troops, Byzantium? Why are you so friggin' weak? You're a march. Like, come on. Let me just, let me just check that. So, subjects. Byzantium. Yeah, they're just not making any money because they have that fort. That's why they're not building any troops or doing anything else. Hmm. <laughs> we can go knowledge sharing, get gain point thirteen. I really don't have a problem with them um, coming stronger. Go, go, divert trade, seize land. This will anger them. Yeah, I guess there's nothing much I can do there. Really wish I had enough military power to at least 
go ahead and get another general. This is still good. So the siege down Istria, which is not going to help him at all. Okay, so we send these 9k down here to uh, siege down Florence. Mm. Can we get military access? I guess I have to ask the Pope if I can get military access here. Um, so, uh, dear Pope. Military access would be nice. Yeah, they said yes. Awesome. <sighs> mm. We have one of like the the improper combined arms bonus, which is not good. But yeah, we we'll probably do want to take the the Florentine army out before it's too late. Okay, so for some reason we're exiled now, which makes no sense. But okay, I'm just gonna bring him out, unexile them. Why did you, what, you, you gave up, you gave up military access? Okay, please give it back to me. Are these guys already separate pieced out? No. So that's fine then. I mean, there's, there's a 21k stack over here. I'm not sure what I'm going to do about it. Uh, I'm glad I didn't attack Hungary on my own. But I'm just hoping that, yeah, the Polish are already in Hungary. In the north of Hungary, so I guess that's fine. Um, damn it. Could really use my leader here. And they have like a two star leader in this one as well. Is there anything that I can do to make my army better? I can hire this guy, I guess, uh, to get a couple more points. Mm, power projection should also give us some more points. Yes, we're getting one uh, that from from the 50 power projection. Okay. So come on, listen. Um, Cristoforo, we'll bring these guys out. No leader. Uh, put him in charge here. Uh, these guys are level 5 in military tech, just like we are. Land movement blocked by hostile fort. Mother trucker. Okay. I guess we'll have to do this then. I guess we can at least blockade this place. And we can also pull our guys out uh, whenever it is necessary, I guess. Uh, just be gonna be careful that these guys are not attacking my boys over here. Send the transport ships in. So yeah, Moldavia's down here. We're gonna we're gonna allow attachment to this. I guess we're not gonna allow anyone attaching to this one. Katarina Sforza. 
The Tiger of Forley. Katarina Sforza is a powerful ruler with a passion for hunting, warfare and alchemy. She left her children in the care of the Orsis to persuade the castellan Tommaso Feo to surrender the fortress of Aravaldino. Once inside, Sforza turned against the Orsis and promised vengeance upon them. The Orsis threatened to kill her eldest son and she responded, Fotello, Civilette. Impicatelli pur davanti a me. Uh, do it if you want to. Hang them well in front of me. I have the mold to make more. <laughs> oh man, this person is crazy. And showed her intimate lower parts to the besieging army. Her response shocked the Aussies and they did not dare touch her children. She and her uncle managed to defeat her enemies and regain possession of her dominions. Since the retrieval of her dominions, her political power has increased by exchanging gifts with the lords of the neighboring states and negotiating marriages for her children. She has shown both military and economical prowess by controlling her realm spending and dealing in person with the training of her militia. I've never seen that before. You can hire her as treasurer. She will serve the country as a commandant. Leave her to rule in peace. Yes, I want this. Could really do with some additional discipline here. Katarina Sforza, you're now you're now in charge. This should help us. Quite a bit actually. Come to think of it. Damnation. Yeah. Someone joined the trade league. I don't really care all that much about it. But I guess I have to say damnation. Wait, so where's Cesare, Cesare Barbarigo? Is he over here? Is he, I guess he's not part of anything here right now. Yeah, we'll, we'll siege down Florence. Um, we still have 39% war participation. Just sieging things down is actually pretty helpful. Who's still like a tiny part of this? Bosnia, Florence, Teutonic Order, I don't think is really gonna be an issue. No, I already screwed up here. They took Zemplin, which apparently is the war goal. It's a fort level two. If they take this one as well, they have like free access to their capital. An army career. With the growth of our professional army, new career opportunities abound for those with ability and ambition. The old influential families, however, still expect to be awarded all the most valuable commissions out of tradition and the centuries during which their lineages have served the council faithfully. Some of our high officers are now imploring us to open more opportunities for able men to rise in the ranks, while others suppose this vehemently maintain that their qualities only blood can assure. So can gain army tradition or lose army tradition, gain army professionalism. Considering we really want to hire a general, I think we'll take the army tradition in this case. Like the professionalism, oh well. We're also hiring mercenaries fairly often, so... Let's do this. Uh, let's recruit a general. Ooh, yes! Two siege pips. That's pretty good. Um, let's do it. I mean, could also help us over here, but I think we got this. Hmm. Let's go up to three. These guys know that they're outnumbered. It's actually kind of nice to play not on very hard, where the AI, even tiny nations can outnumber you, even if you're playing middling to great powers. It's actually kind of nice that that isn't the case here. Damn it. Damn it, damn it. Oh, this is not good. We're screwed. We're screwed. Damn you, Bosnia. Okay. Going to the ships. Screw you. Bosnian assholes. Now the Ottomans are probably gonna get that province. That that is annoying. Okay, I guess we're gonna deal with Florence first. We've got a breach in the wall. Let's 
an army career. Again, more army tradition. I think we take the professionalism this time. By controlling the rats or now. Okay, let the land technology be useless, that's fine. Papal State wants to be my ally. I'm not sure I want them to be my ally. Because we're going to be on opposing sides on Ferrara and other things. Renewing loans now doesn't make me too happy. Come on, fall. I want Florence to fall so I can attack these guys. Nah, 42%. This is soon going to be a thing of the past. Damn it. Yeah, there are the Ottoman armies. They're going to get Albania. God damn it. That's what they want. Yeah, there's no way I'm going to get that back now. Thanks, Poland, for your immeasurable help. Which is great. The trial. Mm. I don't want corruption, so I guess I'm going to take this. Lose some power. I've lost Almatia now. But uh, Florence is now on our side. And I think I'm going to take out their army here. Guys, come on, you can do this. With more discipline. Got the better troops. Okay. So we crush the Florentine troops, and I think we can stack wipe them now. Yep. Okay, so that happened. Very good. Now Albania is probably gone. I think these guys will siege him down very quickly. Man, I mean, that was my fault. I should have probably... Florence will be forced to give Poland 10% of their income. 145 ducats. We get 60 ducats for this, but come on, my guys died for this. And we could have we could have definitely gained more war score from it. Don't be stupid, Poland. in Istria, I guess. Papal State, uh, thanks for your military access. And Ferrara, thanks for your military access. Damn it, this is not good. I mean, we might still be able to swoop in if Hungary can rally its troops in some form or fashion, but I doubt it's going to happen. But I mean, in the end, we can just conquer this from the Ottomans. It's probably not the end of the world. We'll leave a siege here. I can get Lika from this, I guess. I do have a claim on it. And I will make damn sure that I get it. I don't want that Bosnian province, though. Um, so, diplomatically. So, listen. This I don't want, but I want Lika. So, I wish I could give up my claim here. Is that something that I can do? No, I can't. But yeah, I don't, I don't want this. But I want this. If we can possibly have it. I would not say no. Let's take Zagreb. Let's just try to carpet siege them as much as possible. We got this now. Um... Let's put you into the rest. Oh man, you're gonna, you're gonna just kill me here. Poland. It's not great. Ah, we're fighting their fleet. I don't mind them losing their, their fleet here. It's probably good. Okay, that's the end of the Hungarian fleet. Nice. I think we could also create the end of the Albanian fleet. Uh, oh, that is the Danzig army. Okay, right. Let's move further in. Do some carpet sieging here. Okay. Wow, we've, we've been losing a lot of manpower here. For probably 
not a lot of power. Not a lot of gain. Guess I gotta be a little bit more careful. We lost 5,000 in this war. I mean, I am trying to garner favor with the... Uh, with the Poles, but the thing is, the Polish also really like the Ottomans for some reason. Which, yeah, I don't quite get. Okay, we'll siege this down, but I guess we're gonna split this, take some Mogi. Uh, Sopron is now under our occupation. I think Hungary lost this fair and square, from the looks of it. Do we want to join this battle? I don't think so. I'm gonna go for this. Let's take Toronto. Attach a siege here. Let's go to Hunyad. So we'll take this place. It's looking good. Still need to take that castle. How's our war participation? 40%? I mean, come on, I'm doing my best. And they have a lot of vassals that do a lot for them. So Bosnia is just, just got separate pieced out um, with the Ottomans. So, bring you over here. We'll leave you there. Okay, Pozzoni is now under our occupation. Uh, come over there. Maybe here first. Yeah, I think this army is small enough that we can probably start a siege over here and not have too many problems. Gonna let Lithuania siege most of this. I guess I don't care all that much. Okay, won the bottle of Solnok. How's our war participation? Still 40%. Okay then. I mean just saying I I fought down. I fought down Florence. And in my mind, it's always kind of important to kick war participants out um, as soon as possible. Okay, so Teutonic Order is out. Full annexation. That alliance didn't go so well for you, Teutonic Order. Just saying. No pressure. No criticism. Just shitty. I could have done it better. So we'll take this place. Let's try to, if we can, snatch Maros. They already lost 73%. I think they should just give up. Okay. Knowledge sharing with um, Byzantium is done. They now know of the Renaissance. That is pretty good. Holy hell, I'm already way above the time. I kind of wanted to finish this war. And we've got the Albanian fleet. Damn it, this is actually going to go to the Ottomans. Yeah, that is a little bit annoying. Okay, the knights now embrace the renaissance. I guess I can pull my troops out of this. Um, we're basically through with this. I'm gonna finish the war in the next episode for now. Thanks for watching, guys, and I hope you join me next time.